This book, It's My Turn, Smudge, is written by Miriam Moss and illustrated by Lynn Chapman. Smudge is a muskrat who gets so excited she forgets how important it is to think about how your friends feel. No matter how excited you are to do something, think about others and give them a chance. Keep in mind that friendships make life so much more fun. Treat your friends well and you'll feel good. Smudge and Goose were looking for water snails. Splash! Something jumped into the river. What was that? asked Smudge. Goose stuck her head underwater to look. A frog, she said, popping up again. There it goes. Smudge peered at the water. Stripe, said Smudge at lunchtime. Goose can see all the river animals that live underwater. It's not fair. I wish I could. Well, let's make a net. Then you can catch the animals, put them in a jar, and look at them. Together, Smudge and Stripe made a lovely net. Wait till my friends see this, said Smudge. And here's a jar to collect the animals in, smiled Stripe. Just make sure you put them back where you found them afterwards. Smudge dipped her net into the river. Out came a small brown leaf with a water snail stuck to it. She plopped both into the jar. Hare arrived. What's in there? he asked. A water snail, said Smudge. I caught it with my new net. Hare looked at the net. Hey, may I have a go? You can, after I've caught a little silver fish, said Smudge, dipping her net into the water. Hare waited for his turn, watching the snail slide slowly about the jar when Mole arrived. Hello, Hare. Hello, Smudge. What are you doing? She's dipping, said Hare, with her new net. Mole looked at the net. May I have a go? After I've caught a little silver fish, said Smudge. Actually... It's my turn next, Mole, said Hare. Oh, said Mole as he sat down to wait, too. Smudge dipped and dipped. Hare and Mole waited and waited. Come on, Smudge, said Hare after a while. It's our turn now. I haven't caught a little silver fish yet, said Smudge stubbornly. And anyway, it's my net. Hare and Mole watched Smudge for a bit longer, but then they got tired of waiting and they wandered off. Smudge didn't even notice them go. She was enjoying herself. She caught lots of pond skaters, diving beetles, and shrimps, but there was still no little silver fish. Suddenly, Smudge heard laughter coming from <laughs> upstream. <laughs> Try again, Goose, laughed Hare. Goose dipped upside down. Oh, look, cried Mole, nearly toppling into the river with excitement. She's got one. Goose bobbed up with a little silver fish in her beak. Put it in here, Goose, shouted Hare, holding out a jar. Smudge watched her, the three friends crowd round the jar. Suddenly, she felt terribly left out. I wish I'd let the others have a go with my net, she thought miserably. Then we'd all be fishing here together. Smudge gave up dipping. She sat staring at the animals in her jar and listening to the others having fun upstream. Then suddenly, she had an idea. Smudge walked upriver to her friends. Would you like to put my river animals with yours, she asked. Oh, thanks, said Mole. Great, said Hare. Goose, did you hear that? Everybody laughed as Goose popped up with a fish on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, Stripe arrived with ice creams for everybody. Oh, boy. Would you all like to have a go with my new net, Smudge asked. Sure, said Hare, finishing his ice cream. Smudge handed him the net. You go first, Hare, she said. The End I liked the story, but didn't like Smudge's behavior. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a little to have friends. When her friends left, Smudge didn't have as much fun. She missed them. Another solution to the animal's dilemma would be for Stripe and Smudge to share their knowledge and teach the others how to make their own net. It would be more fun for all. Think of something you know how to make and teach the rest of your family how to make it. Until next time.